exact flat for SOLIDWORKS. In this video, we're going to show how to do basic pattern engineering on our headrest part. If you recall, this headrest part was modeled in SOLIDWORKS, and now we're going to put seam allowances and notches on the part. It's very simple. We start by selecting what we call the primary edge, and you'll notice that as we select the primary edge, the corresponding edge on the adjacent pattern piece is also selected. We can choose the seam type from our drop-down menu. We can click Create Notch Chain. In this case, we're going to add a 5mm V-notch. And um, let's put, uh, let's say, 9 notches in here, uh, just so they're easily visible. It's that simple. We're going to do it again uh, on the other um, uh, pattern pieces. We'll go through the whole process here. I don't suspect it'll take more than, I don't know, three or four minutes to get this done. But as you can see, we just select the primary edge, and when the primary edge is selected, the corresponding uh, edge on the adjacent pattern piece is selected, and then we add our seams. Now, the interesting thing about our seams is they are pulled from a database. There's a supporting database application that comes with ExactFlat. Uh, both seams and notches are uh, database-driven elements. So we're attaching features to our CAD geometry. Those features live independently of the CAD geometry. The features, therefore, can be standardized. So if you're a company that's standardized on a 8mm, 10mm, whatever type of seam it is, our database table is editable, and you can uh, adopt your company standards, and they can be uh, manifest in the selections that your designers use um, to do the pattern engineering. Uh, notch is the same way. Rather than have hard-coded, pre-configured notch types, uh, we do have those, but we can also uh, allow the users to create notch chains, uh, pardon me, notches of any type. So if there's one that you need that's not reflected in here, it's very straightforward to create a notch uh, and add it to the database. Um, uh, the benefit of this is, is by having our features separate from the CAD geometry itself, is when it comes to making changes. So just think about how easy it is as we select this edge here, this primary edge, to add an edge. It is that easy to edit an edge. So you just select the edge that you want. You go and uh, select the feature, um, the specific feature, so the seam type, in this case an 8mm. Um, the additional features like uh, notches, you select those, and it's, it's more or less as easy it is, it is to uh, create the feature in the first place as it is to edit the feature. I've got a couple more edges to do here and, um, and then we'll be done. So let's uh, go ahead and put uh, uh, seams and notches on the uh, pattern piece here on the pattern edge on the right. And if you notice the piece down in the bottom right, the long uh, piece on the bottom right, that's where the corresponding edge is. And what a lot of customers like about this is that it's very visual, it's very intuitive. By having the layout, first of all, and the layout, which is uh, corresponding to how these pieces might be sewn together or joined together, um, the edges uh, are lined up. It's, uh, it allows uh, uh, designers to get a visual um, indication of how things are, are, are connecting, and that you know ultimately drives product quality, ultimately drives productivity. And um, it's really manifest in a very simple intuitive interface and if you're an experienced SOLIDWORKS user uh, learning the exact flat uh, you know pattern engineering features should be very straightforward so here we are basic pattern engineering in about uh, you know four minutes or so and that's it so we'll stop the timer yep just under just under four minutes if anybody wants to know more if you have any questions about how um, how the program works or if you want to get an evaluation give us a call and uh, visit our website. Thank you very much.